place voting. Yeah. When it comes yeah. down to second and third place votes, that's going to uh, decide who's, who's, who's going to win. I mean, really? Alaskans? New tonight, Sarah Palin has failed at her most recent attempt at a political comeback. She lost the special election for a vacant House seat in Alaska. That seat is now flipping to a Democrat for the first time since 1972. But NBC News can project that Democrat Mary Peltola will win the seat. This was a ranked choice voting election, which Sarah Palin, the former governor, is blaming in part for her defeat. It also means that the Democrats have won another special election in a year in a Republican area. This time, Alaska, heavily Republican state. Uh, Donald Trump came in and campaigned for uh, Sarah Palin. And of course, from a representational standpoint, uh, you have the first Native Alaskan uh, to, to win that House seat and to, to come to the United States House. So um, a, a lot going on tonight. My, how the mighty have fallen from governor of a state to vice presidential nominee to Losing a special election. Then in her own home state, Sarah Palin, of course, loses there. And the story that's swirling around it as people are talking about, it, as you saw there, it was uh, this new voting system, this uh, this ranked choice voting system, which I didn't know too many details about it. I remember hearing about it in some aspects, but I had to read up a little bit more uh, about this. But they are angry about it, as Sean McGraw pointed out more from what they did. Uh, Palin in their responses from her campaign headquarters tweeted this out. He goes that Sarah Palin's campaign HQ, there was confusion and then anger when the results were announced. She railed against ranked choice voting, called on Nick Begich to drop out, and said the fight is just getting started. Now, Begich is another Republican that was in it that she was concerned because then he took some of her votes. We know how that usually goes. But the ranked choice system then, of course, left it for the Democrat to win. Tom Cotton was also upset too. He tweeted out ranked choice Voting is a scam to rig elections. Man, these conservatives know so many different ways that they're scams to rig elections. It's amazing, no matter what. I think it's the ones that they lose. Huh. Anyways, let's go more details about this ranked choice voting system. So in these types of elections, voters rank as many or as few candidates as they would like from their favorite to their least favorite. First choice, second choice, and so on. In a single seat election, if a candidate receives a majority over 50% of first choice rankings in the first round, that candidate wins. However, if no candidate receives a majority, then an instant runoff second round takes place. In that instant runoff, the candidate with the fewest first choice votes is defeated. And these ballots now count for those voters second choices. Mm -hmm. This process continues until one candidate reaches a majority and then does win. Uh, there was also the same process in this August 16th. Um, a element of this of this first round of this entire vote. Uh, so in that particular aspect, voters did cast about for more than two weeks to determine who will serve out the final four months. And they're running for this seat from Don Young's uh, seat who had just previously died. He was 88 years old. This longtime Republican lawmaker represented Alaska for almost 50 years in Congress. And he was a Republican. No candidate won more than 50% of the vote on August 16th, which triggered runoffs under the new system in which voters ranked the candidates in order of preference. So um, they're upset yeah. about it, Francesca. She lost uh, uh, yet again, and it's the ranked choice voting that's the problem. We need to change the system now. Oh, what's great is that ranked choice voting is more democratic. So if anything, it proves that Sarah Palin just lost even harder. That she wasn't in even people's top two or three, maybe they left her out completely. And it also means that there were more Republicans, you know, you've got two Republican candidates in those top three. It means there were more Democratic voters than there were even for the first, the top two Republicans. So Republicans, you better send better candidates and or nationally, you're losing even in red districts in Alaska. So like, it does not bode well for November in the midterms. It bodes very well for Democrats, for generally the democratic process. Um, and also incredible to send the first Alaskan native woman to the House of Representatives. Like I love this on so many levels, least like most of all or somewhere in there. All of the deals that Sarah Palin's gonna have to be making with like Ross Dress for Less or whoever decided. <laughs> What she should wear uh, <laughs> as she admitted defeat. J.K. Palin, it's all good. Um, don't put a you know map on your website with a target on me. Um, but <laughs> she's found no, her way man. around. Uh, no, that, 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 you know it's a good point you make. As far as like you had one Democrat who then won, and then these two Republicans. That's why she wanted him to drop out. But that's more of a choice for potentially say you're a Republican voter, and there's tons of them. Yeah. Palin then our guy Begich. 
That's your order, right? And if it's yep. not Palin, then it's that guy. It should have some level of, of a benefit, especially as she pointed out. She was outnumbered. She, If it really was a red district, then a, then a Republican would have won. Or those uh, the Republicans have run the red district a bit blue. I don't know, and I don't want to take away from from, from what uh, Mary uh, Peltola was doing, because I'm sure she you know she ran her her campaign on issues and everything. But um, I guess no. Maybe but it was remember, guys, this. Palin. Sorry to interrupt. Like this no. is not about you. Don't split the vote on ranked choice voting. You just don't. Like that's actually why ranked choice voting is kind of great. It requires a lot more strategy. It requires you to run a more positive campaign, which I think can be good. But it doesn't mean that Palin and whatever the other Republican, that they would necessarily knock each other out. It just means you got to campaign together and say one, two, one, two, where you're one, two. And guess what? Even both of them weren't stronger, stronger than Peltola. It's a damn shame. Um, especially in the midterm when people are expecting the party that's not specifically in power, or at least not officially in power uh, to win. Uh, it's not a good sign, we'll see what happens. I'm not good, big on signs about what's gonna upcome because of one particular race, but that's that's the narrative at least right now.